this is really, really last chance alone. We have to get it right. You have agreed to stop unnecessary, unhelpful, destructive, and wasteful competition. Uh, institutions in my ministry, Kekobo and all these others, those leave them to me. When I say we want to streamline things, we will streamline things in every sense of that word. I say what I mean, I mean exactly what I say. I the leadership of the CMOs, I appreciate your presence here. And I'm particularly happy that uh, today we are meeting more than just the CEOs. I've always engaged the CEOs. I have never met the chairman of, uh, of the CMOs. So it's good to meet you. And uh, I want to welcome all of you to this uh, session, um, which for me is uh, very much last chance saloon. Last chance saloon in the sense that uh, we either get it this time round or really we are then stuck in a vicious, endless, farcical game of Russian roulette that is really not leading us anywhere. This is really, really last chance alone. We have to get it right. The creative industry is a mega industry, big industry. You go to the US, the UK, Germany, you go to South Africa, Nigeria, and even our neighbors within the East African community like Tanzania who are monetizing this, this industry. This is a key driver of any economy, key driver of the economy, providing livelihood to millions of people. Conservative estimates, which we worked out with yourselves yesterday, indicate that the music industry alone, very, very conservatively, should be able to give us 4 billion Kenya shillings annually, quite easily. Yet the figures we are talking about here are really minuscule. They are the, the miserable figures, which means that something is not right, something is not working. And the reason why we have come here is because we want to fix this. Chinua Achebe says, you see a toad jumping around in broad daylight, there must be something afoot. And so when you see so much uh, uh, discontent, it means that something is not right. And uh, we did not come here to rejudge it or to recite the challenges that have brought us to this point. We came here to look forward. And um, I want to challenge everybody. I'm only looking for solutions. I'm not interested in problems. I'm not interested in uh, uh, going back to the past. I want us to focus on solutions. I want us to fix this industry. This industry is too big, it is too important, it is too pivotal to be run in the manner that it has, it has been run. And uh, I am glad that uh, as the three CMOs, you have accepted my proposal for you to consolidate your efforts and that you will be stronger, you'll be more efficient, you'll be more effective and you'll serve your membership better if you consolidate your efforts and if you work together under uh, some arrangement that cuts down on uh, administrative costs and maximizes on resources available for distribution to, to your members. Because I believe ultimately, and, and I'm glad that the chairman, you are artists yourselves, and ultimately, the purpose of the existence of the CMO is to benefit the membership. Ultimately, I believe that is your motivation. You want to benefit your membership, and you benefit your membership by having more resources flowing to them. And uh, I'm glad that uh, our latest, latest discussions have been able to isolate the, the problem, and most importantly, to identify solutions to those problems. Um, what is most significant for me is that you have agreed to work together. You have agreed to stop unnecessary, unhelpful, destructive, and wasteful competition.
and contests amongst yourselves. And I'm looking forward to see a framework that we have suggested in the memorandum of understanding you're about to, to sign. I'm looking forward to see unison. I'm looking forward to see collaboration and solidarity in the way you undertake your tasks. And I can, uh, I can, only, look, I can only expect to see fruits of that process. You assured me yesterday that uh, it will be possible through the new arrangement we have agreed, it will be possible to significantly cut back on costs of collection and distribution of royalties. You assured me that you can right away cut down on staff that consumes a considerable part of what you collect. You assured me that you can cut back on administrative costs like offices and reduce any administrative costs that can help us save money. You assured me that every penny you save will end up in the pockets of the artist. Because ultimately that's why we want to make savings. We want to make savings so that artists can earn more. I assured you, because I also made some commitments to you, I assured you that number one, government as a, a regulator, a facilitator, will facilitate your efforts. Number one, legislatively, policy-wise, and in taking the necessary actions necessary to facilitate your work. Yesterday in your presence, I dispatched to the Attorney General a gazette notice gazetting new tariffs for collection. And I expect, I expect that gazette notice to be effective immediately it is gazetted. And that gazette notice, you assured me yourself, because you're experts in this field, that that gazette notice will have the immediate implication of raising the collections available to you. Because we've been able to correct an error that you told me happened in 2019 that significantly lowered the tariffs. And so we have fixed the question of the tariffs across the board. And so I expect that the question of tariffs will not be an excuse or a reason for lower collections. I also assured you yesterday, as a responsibility of government, as a regulator and as a facilitator, that we want to accelerate the process of effecting the blank tap levy. And I have already initiated conversation across government because it's a levy. It's essentially a taxation measure. So it, in, it cuts across government. It is, not limit, it is not exclusive to my ministry. It involves the Attorney General. It involves the Treasury. It involves Parliament. But we have already initiated the process to action the blank tape levy. Because the blank tape levy provides you with yet another stream, another revenue stream. I also gave you my guarantee, which I want to reiterate here, that we want to harmonize all the spaces that contribute to the collections. Broadcasters, we expect to work more closely with the communications authority in terms of ensuring that what is due from broadcasters is actually paid. Public service vehicles, PSVs, we want to collaborate more with the associations because there is an organized space. There are circles within that space. And you assured me, and I took your word seriously, I can remember everything because for me this is not a joke. I'm not referring to any notes. I take these conversations and I take these commitments very, very seriously because I know this is not idle. We are not doing this because we don't have 
other serious business to transact. We are doing this because this is serious business to transact. You assured me that you can engage the circles, the Matatu circles, in the public uh, service vehicle space so that we can have an easier way of collecting from the public service vehicles. And I assured you, on behalf of government, that should you need the support and the help of the NTSA, NTSA as a regulator of that public service vehicle space, I will deploy NTSA to support you and to help you. We have the space we call the entertainment hospitality industry, the hotels, the clubs, and other spaces of entertainment. We agreed that you will use your existing system to be more effective in collecting from those spaces. But I also gave you my guarantee again that should you require the intervention of the county governments, if you require the, count, the intervention of the county government of Nairobi to support your efforts with the entertainment sports in Nairobi, or Mombasa, or Eldoret, or Kisumu, again, I gave you my guarantee that I'll be available to support that and to assist you with that process. We also looked at what you call the new media. There's a lot of music that is in floating all over the place. YouTube, uh, TikTok, Facebook, a lot of the so-called new media platforms, which are replete with intellectually, intellectual property protected productions. We agree that we want to manage that space better so that it becomes another key revenue stream. So good people, we agreed on good things. And I have them here. I hope you do too. <laughs> I hope you have these things at your fingertips too. Because they are important things. I believe they are the reason why you exist as CMOs. So, hatuna kisingizio. Hatuna kijisababu. Chakukosa kufaulu. Sababu tunazo, za kufaulu. Azma tunayo, ya kufaulu. Na uwezo tunao. Mm? Sababu tunazo. Azma tunayo. Uwezo tunao. Sasa tufeli kwa nini? Tufeli kwa sababu gani? Eh? Ezekiel, you mutihani tufeli namna gani? And me, I don't want to be associated with failure. I don't look like failure, I don't act like failure, I don't walk like failure, I don't talk like failure. I have nothing to do with failure. Don't fail me, good people. I want you to pen this MOU, and from now, moving forward, it's a new dawn. <laughs> Next time we gather, you good people. Next time we meet like this. I want to be handing out fat checks to artists. Fat, not checks. Fat checks to artists. I want to come to a ceremony that is full of pomp and color and celebration, okay? And happiness and merry. I want to hear you are giving artists millions of shillings. Okay? Because there's no reason why we, we are not doing it. There's absolutely no reason. So I just want to assure you that uh, you have my full support. Uh, institutions in my ministry, Kekobo and all these others, those leave them to me. When I say we want to streamline things, we will streamline things in every sense of that word. I say what I mean, I mean exactly what I say. I not only talk the talk, but I also have a tendency to walk the walk of what I talk. So, tuweke sahihi, hmm? tuweke sahihi kwenye mkataba huu, hmm? alafu tukimaliza, jameni tuanze safari mpya, tuanze safari mpya.
Let us be efficient. Let us be effective. And above everything else, for God and for country, let us be accountable. Please, you good people, let us be accountable. I will support you policy-wise, legislation-wise, action-wise to collect more. But for every penny you collect, be accountable. Account for the money you collect. Finally, before you sign, I want us to deploy technology more robustly in our efforts to collect and distribute. There's no reason why we are not deploying the benefits of technology to collect more efficiently, to collect at least cost, and to distribute more effectively and more accountably. I assured you yesterday that I have initiated conversation with WIPO so that the WIPO digital platform can be made available to us for purposes of taking advantage of technology. So good people, let us do this. And let us really, really from now moving forward, let us put a smile on the faces of the long-suffering Kenyan artist. It's about time, and that time is now. Thank you. <laughs>